All right. Grabbing, grabbing of claws, grabbing of hair. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone really cover this particularly well, so I'm going to show you my take on, on grabbing of claws and grabbing of hair. Now, we see this all the time um, in street encounters. People get grabbed by their claws and they get yanked. They get grabbed by their hair, particularly women, and they get yanked. And humans are really quite good at this, at pulling people off balance and then to keep them perpetually off balance while they're beating them with the other hand, hammering them here into the face or the neck. It's a really awkward situation. And you'll see some videos of talking about grabbing people here, there and whatever to try and stop it, but actually just doing anything when you're in this situation, particularly when you've been hit repeatedly and you're losing any sense of balance or self, it's really difficult to do anything. You have to work really fast. Now my sense of things is this, people will typically try either to move away, which is, is futile because they will just pull you back down and you're also pulling yourself off balance even more. There's no real way I can fight back, all this talk about going for the nuts, there's no way I can really fight back in any meaningful way from this position. What I advise is this, and it's pretty similar whether it's your clothes or whether it's your hair. What I want to do is to stop this leverage he has over me. The only way I can really do that is to attach my body to his so that me and him become the same object, like grapevining and grappling. It's not going to be easy. All I've really got is this arm that's attaching to me. That's the only thing I'm really sure about. But I'm going to try whatever I can get hold of then, whether it's his leg, whether it's his waist. The higher up I get up his body, the more I can mitigate that leverage. Down here, he's still moving around a bit, but already starting to be much harder for him. He's still got that arm loose for beating me, so I can't really be staying here. So I'll be looking to climb his body. Once I've got that position, I'm looking to climb his body. Whatever situation I find myself in, it might not be perfect, but it's better than being on the end of that. And for me, there are three places I can go to. Ideally, if he's grabbing me this way, what I want is to be getting into here because then I'm in, in a fighting position. But is he going to let me get there? It's going to be difficult. If he starts to stiff arm me, I might not be able to break through that. I can go for the knee, but I can't just go. Because if he feels me going, he should pull me down to the ground. I have to kind of work that. And once I've got that, then I can go to the knee because I'm already down there. Second one is, if he's kind of pulling at me and stiff arming at me and I can only get this, at least I've got this. I've got some kind of attachment around his waist and I can do that even if he's stiff arming me. Ideally, I want up there, but I might have to fight for that. It might be really hard for me to get him. I might be in a real fight, but the more attachment I've got to him, the better and I can work from there. I can go back down to the knee from here. At least I've stopped that situation where I'm being hammered. And this isn't going to be easy, it's going to be the fight of your life to get through this. And this is similar in a sense to strangles and other types of cloth grabbing. There's this stiff arm that I have to get around and it's really difficult for me to do anything when I'm in this dynamic. It might be I have to drop some weight and start throwing myself around a bit to, to break that kind of stiff arm. And that's going to be a real fight. But once I've done it, the principles are the same. I want to take away the leverage by getting some kind of attachment now. Bigger, stronger guy. If he's going to throw me around, he's throwing each other. It's much harder for him then to be throwing me around and getting that leverage advantage. Because I have great vine to him, I've attached to him. So that's the essential thing. Get out of this leverage situation. Get attached to him somehow, however you can do it. And if this is a hair pull, my hair's down here, I can go to the knee if I can get to it, I can get to here. Any kind of attachment I can to work up and start climbing up his body and just take that leverage away. So that's, that's my simple take. I say simple because you are in a fight, it, it, it's going to be really tough to get there. But that's the only way I can see that you can start to fight away from that because you're not getting anything going from here. You're not getting anything going backwards. You're not getting any kinds of locks or fancy grabs on here while you've been pounded. Really tough situation. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you.